When I talk with people about their fitness goals and their progress and the things that they control in that progress, I talk about the main pillars of that. So I'm talking training, diet, supplementation, and sleep. So those are the four things, in my opinion, that you can really actually control, that you can change on a daily basis, keep consistent, and then fix your progress. Today, we're gonna to talk about sleep in regards to Axe and Sledge's newest product, Dozer. So without further ado, let's jump in and open the bottle and talk about it. Welcome to Price Plow. Now, what about Axis and Sledge's dozer is actually different from the mainstream regular uh, sleep aid out there? Well, first of all, it's a globally compliant formula, so it's going to have uh, no melatonin in it. They had to do some interesting things to get around that, and we'll talk about that a little bit with the formula. But what are the main benefits of taking dozer from Axis and Sledge? It's gonna be uh, decreased time to sleep, increased sleep time, and increased quality of sleep while you're asleep. Um, one of the main goals of the product is to have you being as productive the next day as possible. So it's not just going to be get you as zonked out as possible and get you to sleep, but also have a productive work day the next day. Now these guys are the hardest workers in the rooms. Uh, it's not just about the gym, it's also about work, family, life. Uh, so this is a lifestyle product in a different way uh, and it's kind of cool to be talking about. So. Without further ado, let's jump in the top at GABA. We've got three grams of GABA here, which is a neurotransmitter. Actually uh, helps promote relaxation by decreasing uh, beta waves and increasing alpha waves. Beta waves are in your brain, they're going to be the waves that are more awakening, more stimulating, it's gonna get you out of sleep. Uh, alpha waves are relaxing, they're gonna bring you down and promote that restful feeling, getting you into more of a zen state, ready to fall asleep. A study in 2010 with GABA alongside 5-HTP found that uh, users actually had uh, decreased time to sleep as well as uh, increased duration and quality of sleep when they did fall asleep. So, product is going to be very helpful for all aspects of sleep here, whether you can't fall asleep, whether you can't stay asleep, whether you're having a lot of disturbances during your sleep and you're not finding a good deep sleep, this is going to find kind of all of those goals and check them all off for you. After GABA, we have tyrosine uh, at 750 milligrams. Now tyrosine is kind of an ingredient that I talk about pre-workout a lot. It's really great for focus, but this is not really being used here for focus. GABA is a precursor to several other neurotransmitters like dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine, and because of of that, I'm really thinking that this is because during your day, when you're working, when you're speaking with other people, engaging in conversations, when you're working out, you can uh, deplete these levels of neurotransmitters in your body. So that recovery process, getting ready for the next day, you wanna make sure that you're putting back in those nutrients and getting your body ready for the next day. So tyrosine at 750 milligrams. I mean, if you take this, you're gonna be able to focus really well as you're going to sleep, but you're also gonna be ready for the next day when you wake up. Just as a reminder, you know, hardest workers in, in the room is not just about the gym. It's also about going to work and taking care of life and stuff like that. So we can absolutely see that effect here when we're talking about this ingredient. After that, we've got chamomile extract at 500 milligrams. Chamomile is something that we've seen a lot. Teas and bedtime sleepy stuff for many, many years. It's a mild sleep inducer and tranquilizer, but it's gonna be very effective at just, again, relaxing the mind, getting rid of that anxiety and stress at the end of the day, and getting you into sleep. If you're the kind of person that sits up in bed at night worrying about work or the next day or anything like that, this is gonna help out. There was actually a study in 2011 using actually 270 milligrams of chamomile. Now, we've got 500 milligrams here, so the participants found it extremely easy to fall asleep after using this product. So we've got almost twice the dosage. It's gonna be super helpful. Moving into ashwagandha. Uh, this is another time, we've seen ashwagandha in lots of different products. It can be used for nootropics, pre-workouts, uh, uh, adaptogen products. Now, one thing that we have here is it's 200 milligrams at a 1.5 with analyte uh, extract. It's not gonna be the highest dosage of uh, active ingredients from ashwagandha here. Um, so it, this could help with a mild sedative. It's gonna help calm you um, and lower in cortisol. Don't expect anything really crazy feeling from this ingredient. This is a little bit lower dose than we'd like to see it, but we have a lot of different tranquilizer sedative ingredients in here. So I could understand why we might not wanna go too crazy on the ashwagandha here. Also, most users of supplements are getting ashwagandha from a lot of other sources. So I'm not really too concerned that this isn't a ridiculous dose. I know myself, I get a ton of ashwagandha from different supplements, so not adding in too much else is probably a good thing. There has to be a point where 
you have to wor worry about getting your cortisol too low. Moving into passion flower extract, it's another one just like chamomile. We've seen it in a lot of sleepy time um, herbal teas and stuff like that. Passion flower has actually been shown to increase GABA within the brain. So like we are supplementing GABA already, we're using another one to endogenously create GABA within the body, which is again gonna help with uh, rest and relaxation. Again, 2011, study with passion flower showed increasing quality of sleep significantly. Moving into phenylalanine, we got 150 milligrams here, which again, endogenously increases another ingredient in this product, uh, tyrosine. So here again, we're going to see, this isn't directly related to sleep quality or duration. However, it's going to help you be ready for the next day, recovering your brain for function in the morning. If you're probably gonna be waking up a lot less groggy when using this product. Coming down on theanine, this is another ingredient that we've seen in pre-workouts. Um, now theanine alongside caffeine can have a synergistic effect that increases focus and can help uh, calm you down from uh, too much caffeine. Now that's kind of going to be playing here except you don't have any caffeine. So theanine is definitely a calming ingredient. I remember back when I was working at Nutrab, we would take it during stressful times or if we had too much stimulants. So if you're taking it pre-bed, it's gonna help relax you, help de-stress you, and just help you get ready for bed. Now, Mucuna uh, Prurians extract, I'm sorry, this is one ingredient I've actually never spoken about out loud. I've read a lot and I've taken it, but uh, I have never pronounced, so I'm sorry if I butchered that. We got it here at 75 milligrams. It's also called uh, velvet bean extract. Its primary bioactive compound is gonna be L-DOPA here, which is actually really helpful in increasing testosterone, growth hormone, and decreasing cortisol. So all of these factors are gonna kind of help promote recovery and rest and improving your recovery from the gym for the next day. Here I'm really looking at uh, increased secretion of growth hormone, which is going to improve uh, sleep, but that recovery is really that main factor I'm looking at here. That's what I'm trying to get out of my sleep, increase growth hormone production and recovery for the next day. Now moving into 5-HTP, 5-HTP uh, is a precursor to serotonin. Uh, if you've ever been into the party scene, you might have taken 5-HTP to try to recover from some, you know, stuff you've taken uh, at a club late at night. Uh, lowered serotonin can be related to depression, anxiety, lack of sleep, just overall um, lethargy. So taking something like 5-HTP, which is gonna be uh, a precursor to serotonin, is gonna help you spring out of bed the next day, wake up, be in a good mood and happy. Yeah, you got 50 milligrams over here. It's gonna be helpful with that kind of just morning after waking up not being groggy and taking care of the day. Last ingredient we got here is 50 milligrams of L-tryptophan. Now tryptophan is the amino acid that everyone blames their Thanksgiving hangover on. Uh, they say that it can be mildly sedative, it can bring you down, get you kind of sleepy. So uh, I personally don't believe that's what actually is the thing doing it to you in Thanksgiving. I think that's just you over consuming calories. However, tryptophan can be calming and relaxing and it's gonna help you get ready for bed just like all the other ingredients in here except for obviously tyrosine. As a whole, guys, it kind of circumvents the need for melatonin, which is kind of fun to try to solve the problem of making a sleep aid without melatonin. Um, I'm gonna get into actually using this on a regular basis. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about Axe and Sledge, you can go to pricebelt.com slash Axe and Sledge, or you can comment below. I'd love to answer any question for you. As always, guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you have any questions, leave them below. I, I love answering. I, I, get, I'm, I know I should probably prompt you at some point to leave something below. I know every other YouTuber and influencer does that. I just too caught up in talking about ingredients. It's my passion. So if you have any other questions, just leave them below. Thanks, for guys, for watching, and have a great day. Welcome to Price Plow.